If you have Crohn's disease, you may have been told that you have a fistula. Let's discuss what a fistula is, how Crohn's causes them, and some of the common types. Crohn's ulcers can burrow deep through the digestive tract into nearby organs like a gopher tunneling underground. These tunnels are called fistulas. Fistulas are composed of inflammatory cells and debris, which are similar to a healing wound or a scar. Because fistulas connect the digestive tract to other parts of the body, they allow the contents of the digestive system to seep into other organs. When Crohn's causes fistulas, it's termed penetrating Crohn's disease. There are numerous types of fistulas that can occur in Crohn's disease. We name them for where they start and end, and different symptoms and complications can occur because of where they finally drain. A colovesicular fistula forms between the colon and the bladder, and it permits stool contents to drain into the bladder, causing infections, such as a urinary tract infection. An enterocutaneous fistula is inflammation eroding out from the small bowel towards the skin, and it causes a wound that leaks stool-like contents. Women can suffer a rectovaginal fistula when rectal contents drain into the vagina. These can be caused by a traumatic childbirth and also in Crohn's disease. Fistulas around the anus interfere with its ability to hold itself tightly closed and can permit stool contents to leak through channels around the anus. This leads to incontinence and is termed perianal Crohn's. Fistulas cause some of the most disconcerting symptoms of Crohn's disease. They can be complicated to manage. They often require advanced medications to control and many times require surgery. So if you're suffering from a fistula, please contact a GI doctor so you can make a plan for its management. And while you're waiting for your appointment, please continue to peruse our videos so you can learn more about Crohn's and its many complications. Thank you and be safe.